one day I read a news article about how a patrolman had been killed on the side of the road very near to where I live. It was an A road, very sharp bends, and it was clear to me that there was really no chance for this poor guy who was just doing his job because of where the vehicle had needed recovering from. There are tens of thousands of people working roadside in the UK, from construction workers to the utilities teams, and there are 5,000 patrol people recovering broken down vehicles. Apparently eight patrolmen a year lose their lives at the side of the road, predominantly in dark and wet conditions. Most reflective systems work with decals on the back of the vehicle and they need an incoming light source to reflect back and that light has to be straight behind the reflective material. If you're on a curvy road then it becomes very difficult to see that vehicle. Special Vehicle Engineering is a unit within the commercial vehicle team and the electroluminescent panels came out of an engineering idea. We came across a technology that we've all seen, the way that cinema steps are lit. It was a case of quite literally a light bulb moment. We've worked with InSpace, the supplier, a good partner of ours, to develop this into automotive spec capable material and then applied it to the back of the vehicle. There are two electrodes, one at the base, one at the top that's clear, and in between those two electrodes is phosphorus. By passing alternating current between the two electrodes, you actually stimulate the phosphorus and it glows. It's as simple as that. The process then would be to apply the panels on the rear doors. The wiring is fed through the doors and into the body through the same wiring conduit that we use in mainstream production. The power source is then buried within the body side and a switch block added to the cab behind the driver's seat and you're ready to go. The benefits really are to be seen in as many conditions as possible and more than you would be seen if you had reflective cheating. If we can make the roadside a safer place for these thousands of people, that's a good day in the office for me.